things haven't always been peaches and peanut butter here in Port Grace. Perhaps you've heard of that business with the parrot and the wolf, or the appearance of the Phantom Deltic, or the controversial rezoning application that almost resulted in civil war. Maybe we'll touch on some of that a bit later. For now, though, let's just watch some trains go. This classic train out of San Diego is carrying a group of enthusiastic bird watchers. They're here on the Canadian side of the border to catch a rare glimpse of the only known species of parakeet indigenous to coastal British Columbia. Known as Parakeetus use the forscopus, this little parrot is distinguished by its protruding green ears, not unlike a certain diminutive knight from a universe far, far away. While she used to communicate in several languages, the little parrot can no longer speak. After a traumatic encounter with a wolf with some terrifying ideas on what goes into a good curry, But what our little parrot lacks in speaking ability, she more than makes up for in reading and comprehension. And when found by the bird watchers, she was thumbing through a back issue of a popular model railroading magazine, appropriate given the primary subject matter of this video. Having found this rarest of birds, and after a hearty pub lunch at the highly regarded local, it was back onto the train for the return trip south. A bit of trouble today for the Via Rail Bud Car. It was supposed to do a scheduled run to Vancouver, but the lights have stopped working, and the clutch is sticky, and there's a small problem with the lavatory that might best be left to the imagination. So it's off to the maintenance shed, where the experts can do some troubleshooting. In its place, Canadian National 1701, also known as Enterprise for some obscure reason, has been pressed into service, coming in with a hastily assembled train from a neighboring station. Note how clean it is, a testament to the folks who keep these model trains looking their best, and the dish soap they use to carry out their mission.
veteran locomotive driver Ted, Father Ted to his friends and relatives, takes special care to bring the train into the station so as not to draw suspicion about, well, never mind that. He's doing the job. That's the main thing. Only a few people waited around for the substitute service, so Father Ted didn't wait very long before lifting off for the big smoke. While our crack maintenance team pondered where the fuse box is on the bud car, and whether a new clutch could be ordered on Amazon, and who will be privileged with the handling of the lavatory issue. But what's this? None other than the British Phantom Deltic, thundering into the Barnstable Valley from the space-time continuum with Richter-scale ferocity. The British Phantom Deltic is like the Flying Dutchman, only not Dutch, and not nearly as frightening. Still, it's a story worth telling, but not today. Now, about that rezoning application I mentioned. It was for an S-scale railroad, something the valley hadn't seen in many years. It went against the official community plan, which allowed only for HO scale. The rezoning would see the return of bigger trains, with bigger people, and bigger people ideas. Citizens were up in arms, but when the Blink and Tipple pub announced it would serve their pints in the larger scale if the rezoning went through, the little HO people quickly reconsidered and encouraged town council to approve the rezoning, which of course they did. There's much work to be done on the larger scale railroad project. There's ballasting, wiring, scenery, and generally faffing around until we get it right. But when it's done, should that blessed day ever arrive, it will mark the return of American Flyer the original trains of the Port Grace and Barnstable line. For now, though, we'll continue to enjoy our HO scale world as life unfolds and trains come and go. On that note, let's end the day at the Blink and Tipple, and some good conversation about how, in retrospect, S-scale people aren't so bad after all, with their big people ideas and their big people pints.